All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a, um, a video to your YouTube channel. So, of course, you want to go to youtube.com, log in. Um, next, what you want to do is if you're logged in, you should have uh, your icon. Maybe it's your picture of your, um, your headshot of you, your company logo. It could just be a letter. Um, but anyway, once you're logged in, uh, you're right here. Next, what you want to do is you want to find a, a button that's a, like a plus on a, a camcorder or a create. Um, again, it could look different uh, depending on how you how you have your interface uh, set up. Also, your screen could be white. I'm on the dark theme. so. But anyway, you just need to find uh, something like a video and a plus or an add or a create on your side. So mine's in the upper right hand, uh, upper right hand corner so far. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on upload video. It's going to transfer you to um, uh, YouTube Studio, and right here it says drag and drop video files to upload or select files. So I am going to go to my desktop, and I just did a video that how to export uh, contacts um, from your Yahoo account. So um, I'm going to you you don't want to keep the name of it. Um, you want to change the name. All right, so you're going to right click. And then you're going to find something that says rename. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, you got to think of what people would say to search, um, search for it. Okay. So um, if I was searching for how to upload my, or how to export my contacts from Yahoo, um, I would type in how, and then you want to do an underscore to export contacts underscore from underscore your underscore yahoo underscore and you can put account uh, contacts that type of stuff but um, and then I like to put underscore video all right so now that we have that renamed with underscores because underscores will help connect those keywords okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and now that I have my video renamed, I'm going to hit select files. I'm going to look for the video, which is right here. And it's going to upload it. All right, so next um, I'm going to do the title again. So how to uh, export uh, Yahoo contacts. Where you put how to export. Okay, down here is the file name. So you could just copy that and then paste it. But you don't want the underscores on this one because this is what people are reading. So um, they're not going to read the name of the video. That just helps YouTube optimize your video. So we're just going to take these little things out. And how to export contacts from your from your Yahoo account. Okay, so that's a good title. And then in this video, we show you how to export your contacts from your Yahoo account into a uh, CSV spreadsheet. All right. You're just basically telling exactly what uh, they'll be uh, viewing, okay? So then it's uh, processing the video right now, so there will be some thumbnails right there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and let that process for a few. And then playlist, um, you could either create a new playlist or add it to a current one. So if you wanna create a new playlist, um, this one will be, we will put this under how to export contacts, okay? So we'll hit new playlist, title how to export contacts, okay? Because what I'll do is I'll just create different videos of how to export contacts from your iPhone, you know, how to export contacts from 
uh, Gmail, that type of stuff, and then we'll put it in that playlist. Now, you don't have to have a playlist, but uh, it makes it easier for people if they're, you know, wanting to figure out how to export contacts from various things, they can just watch a playlist of it, and they don't have to search through videos because they go by uh, date and time that they're uploaded. So it just makes it easier. If you're going to have, like, a series of uh, videos, all right, so we're going to hit... Uh, and of course, we want the visibility to be public, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. And then I'm going to check it. And then I'm going to kind of look through here and see if there's any other playlist I want to add it to, which I don't. Okay, so we'll hit Done. Mm -hmm. All right, and then next, what we're going to do is... Um, no, this isn't made for kids. Okay. Um... Age restriction, show more. Okay, so paid promotion, tags, subtitles, and more. So let's go ahead and... So this is showing... You kind of click, and it looks like it's not showing the thumbnail right here, but you could select the best one, and I will... I can see where the contacts are right here, and this is what that screen will look like. So I'm just going to use this uh, thumbnail right here, and you could upload a custom thumbnail if you wanted to, like a picture, but I'm just going to use this because that's what it looks like. Show more. All right, so there's no paid promotion, so I don't have to worry about anything there. And then I have um, some tags. Uh, I have some tags that are um, automatically placed in here. Yours would probably be blank, so um, I'm just going to go through here. And these just have to do with the topic. So Twitter is not the topic. Templates, QR code, conversion, sales, email notification. None of these are relevant. Responder sales managers, um, leads. Uh, these could be leads. Actually, they are leads, um, your contacts. Um, assistants do this quite a bit, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, loan originators, real estate, so that's who we teach. So um, I'm going to leave real estate, uh, marketing, use contacts for marketing, internet marketing, customer relationship management. Uh, we use that uh, CRM. Um, Ours is Dynamics Pro, System Dynamics. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to add Yahoo. And I just hit the tab button and it created it. Um, I'm going to do, I don't see contacts in here. I'm going to hit a tab. Um, I can put database because it has to do with database. Tab. So you just really think of all the different keywords um, that have to do with uh, this. So uh, export because you know, you're exporting contacts. So anyway, you can go through and think about it uh, quite a bit. I'm going to keep on going just because this is an instructional video. Uh, recording date, you could add the recording date if you want to. Mine's in English. Um, video location. All right, so we're good to go. Now embedding. I'll allow embedding if someone wants to use the video on their website. Publish to subscription feed, yes, and I'll notify anybody who's subscribed to our um, YouTube channel because it'll just basically give them a push notification. Um, all right, so this is how-to and style education. Um, it is a how-to. It's not really style on there, but, uh, you know, I'll put education because I'm educating people on how to do something. Um, let's see here. Choose all right, so you could, uh, for comments and ratings, um, show how many viewers like and dislike the video. Um, so you have the option, and I'm going to hit next. And this is a little more advanced, but um, I'm not going to do it in this video, um, but you could get pretty advanced with this. And then they're going to look at copyright issues, which we're good. It has a check mark, so we're good. And then next. And then I can... Save or publish uh, publicly, which I want to, so people can look at the video and search it. I could schedule a time and date for, you know, uh, you know, first thing in the morning, um, things like that if I want to. Because um, a lot of people will watch videos first thing in the morning when they get up. Um, so it's kind of nice to have a new, no, new notification. I'm not going to use that schedule on here. Um, so I'm just going to go back to public and publish it now. And we're good to go. Do kids appear in this video? No. So anyway, you're going to hit publish. And then right here, if you want to copy your video link, you can just click it right here. And then if you open up a new tab, 
and there's the video of what it's going to look like once people um, are able to find it. And I'm going to hit publish. And when you hit publish, it's going to send out notification to people who are subscribed and um, are looking for new videos for you. So you could share the link on Facebook, all these different ones if you want. Um, and then there's your video link. And that's how you upload a video to your YouTube channel.